Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sally Soin Tutorial. In today's video, we'll be making this beautiful Zara cap. So I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this with a fan, with a fan rose at the back. So these are the materials I'll be using. This is my Mako, this is my Ashoke. So I've gone ahead to cut my Ashoke according to the S circumference of my client. So this Ashoke from this end to this end is 24 inches. I add circumference is actually 23 inches, but I decided to cut 24 because I'll be needing the extra half inches each inch on fold for joining. So this is my Mako. My Mako, I decided to cut it 19 inches. So 19.5 inches. So this 19.5 inches, I'm going to determine my midpoint, which is 9 inch 3 quarter. So this is my midpoint of my Mako. Same thing for the Ashoke. I'm going to fold it into two equal parts. Sorry, this Ashoke came in pieces, but I've gone ahead to join it together. The way we join it, one wants to make our head tie. We join it one on top of each other. That was what I did. So I'll fold this into two and determine the midpoint. So this is the midpoint of my Ashoke. So I'm going to open this now. And I'll take my Mako. The midpoint of my marker, I'll place it on the ashoke. Then I'm going to fold it all the way like this and so. So, if I'm using another fabric, if it's not an ashoke fabric, I'll be folding first like this before folding to cover that rough edge. But because this ashoke is English mouth, you see, it's not losing, so there's no need for double folding. So, I'll just take this and just fold like this. Then I'll sew it on this part. By the time I finish sewing this, I'm going to come secure it at this end of the macro. So I'll go to my sewing machine and I'll do that right now. So guys, I'm done sewing my, um, I'm done securing my macro to my ash. Okay, you can see I secured it at this end and at this end. So the next thing I'm going to do, still on this part, I'm just going to fold it into two equal parts like this. So what I will do, I will come to this tip here and I will come in by 2 inches. I will come in by 2 and a half inches and I am going to curve it. So I will take this to my sewing machine and sew with 0 0.5 inch which is half inch. I am going to sew it all the way down to this part then I will cut this off. So guys, after doing this, I am going to take my needle and thread. I will thread it then I will run loose stitches all the way from this part to this part. So guys, these are my loose stitch. You can see I stopped here. You won't take it all the way down. You have to stop here. So now I'm going to drag it to give me the gathers. So when I got, when I am done dragging it, I'm going to use this, my same needle and thread and secure it together so that it won't fall apart. apart. Done with the Zara cap, so we'll set this aside, then we'll come and make this. So, with this, this is what I'll be using to make this rose or fan, fan rose, whatever you get to call it. So, the total length of this is um, 37 inches. So, what I did is that I folded this edge together with three quarter of an inch. So, the two end I folded it together. So, I'm going to fold this into two equal parts like this. So, after folding this, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and secure it down. And secure it down. So, guys, I'm done securing it down. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my hand and pleat it, taking it like this. So, I want this pleating, the line to show 
So I'm going to flip it this way. Can you see I'm doing it? I'll flip it all the way down. So guys, this is what we have. So I'm going to leave it. Then you can see I've cut in the shape of the pleating. So next, I'm going to take my needle and thread again. So I'm going to thread it according to this shape that I got here. Starting from this tip. can see it's beginning to form the shape so I'm done doing that so I'll bring it together like this then I'll use this same thread and need you to join these two edges together So guys, after doing this, you can see I still have a big hole at the middle and I don't want it like this. So I'm going to still take this same thread and big needle. Then I'm going to try to bring the holes closer to each other a bit like this. You can see what I'm doing. I'll just pick one end, pick the opposite end, drag it together, pick another end. So I'm going to tie it using it to secure it. Hey. So I've secured this, guys. The next thing I'm going to do now is to take this candle bomb and 
pray on this and put on this to gum. I don't have a socket close to me, so I'm going to go to where there's socket so that I can plug it, but I'll come show you what I'm doing. So guys, this is it. I've gone ahead to add some candle gum to it. I just had to be generous with it because I want it to hold it very firm. So this is the midpoint of this. I'm going to go place this like this. making sure it's holding its thing so i'll put something to hold it so i'll put this thing like this you need something that is um something that has weights to secure it very well So guys, this is what it looks like. So I added, I also added some candle gum to this. So I'm going to place it at this midpoint. Then press it down. Voila, we are done. Our Zara cap is ready. So this is what we have. It's looking so beautiful. This ashoke is a pattern ashoke already. So we don't need more design on it. So this is all right. Wait, it is. It's looking so beautiful. So please, if you enjoyed this video, Please give this video a thumbs up, share, like, and comment. If my if you are my first time viewer, please do not forget to click that subscription button and turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever I post more video. So I will bring you more of these tutorials and other DIYs to your to your doorstep while at the comfort of your house. Please thank you until I come your way next time. Bye. I love you. Mwah.